Hey, hey! Good day, everybody. I've had a nice little warm up for a change. It's not like me to have a warm up, but I have had one. And, uh, what was it? Half an hour? Half an hour warm up up uh, Vin Top. I thought I better had because this one is uh, this one's quite hard, isn't it? Thank you, everyone. Uh, let's see if I can just get the one sec. set this up yeah this is the 55 kilometer one isn't it so it's fairly long one sec one sec there we go okay I know it's hiding the KOM uh, or the, the leaderboard on the left hand side but yeah we're not going to be I won't be too worried about the KOM time. <laughs> oh. Okie dokie. One and a half minutes. Thank you everybody for joining. It's a nice relaxed evening stream. 20,000 people online on Zwift at the minute. Wonderful. So I can get the chat up really quickly. Ah, Tugles is in this race. Looks like I won't be winning them. <laughs> Hopefully he will push me. Not push me physically, as in, like, give me a push. I mean, uh, hopefully he will uh, help me get a little bit more out of myself. So I hope. Got uh, ultra low latency on for this stream, so I should be able to keep up with the chat in real time for once. I know, it's taken me forever to do it, but here we are. Good luck everyone. Check out the link in the description.
100% change of guilty. Away we go. Uh, hundred percent by choice. Still, yeah. Oh, it's going to be a massive blob this one, isn't it? It's Carl Jackson. Have a good ride, Carl. I don't think I'm going to be talking much in this, judging by the start. Uh, I don't know, probably next week, guys. My video from the day was pretty, uh, <laughs> it, was <laughs> it was pretty bad. <laughs> It's one of those sort of days where I was like, okay, I feel like if I'm going to get footage, I'm going to interrupt everything. So I just lurked in the background. But I think there'll be better content to come of it, come of it from the other side, not from me, personally. We'll see. Yeah, I did this one a couple of weeks back, Sarah. I think I came fifth. It's okay. This course, I don't think... Uh Absolutely blown up the back on the descent. Oh no, my video is not going to be very good, Gary. <laughs> you can look forward to it, but uh, their video is going to be better. Crazy speed, yeah. Crazy speed. Uphill we go. Let's do it. Grab it.
Yeah, risky though, isn't it? Coming through the group. Uh, two goals this year. So I can say goodbye to my win. <laughs> I'm joking. I was just saying, Ian. I don't race against him much. Hopefully, he'll, uh, he'll kick my head in to uh, push me, push me to another level. That's the only way I can look at it. I'm gonna look at it with positives. Carl's here as well, Carl, Carl's in this group. I think the first time up this climb is going to be savage because it's like it's so strung out but nothing's breaking obviously everybody's got fresh legs so people should be probably giving it the beans left right and centre up the first climb first time up the climb hey it's Roy ah, sorry missed you Roy sorry Lots of colour in the graph already. <clears throat> oh, there's Paul Elliott. What an acker all in you. <laughs> Sorry, Paul, I missed you as well. David Raynham! David Raynham's here. Wait, one goes, they all follow. I'm not talking about me. That's nice though. Tell you what, it's been a tough start for this eight minutes, 85% of FTP intensity currently. Yeah, there's been a little split there, you're right, yeah. Good, uh, good spot. Thank you for the ride on, Nick. Looks like it might come back together though. That little group behind. Well, it's a big group, really. It's about as big as this group. And this group is pretty big. Here we go. There's a junction being made. Uh, it's a Wahoo ticker fit. Yeah, I do. I wear a chair strap when I'm running outside, yeah. Um, but uh, a chair strap, if I'm, because I wear it too often, if I wear a chair strap indoors and outdoors, because it gets so sweaty indoors, um, I then have to wear it when it's still like moist from the day before. So, uh, 
Plus, I quite like it. Yeah, it, and it feels a little bit restrictive, doesn't it, on the chest? Um, hang on a minute. Is this the climb? Excuse me. I might need my small ring. Yeah, I know that wall of champs battle was cool up there, wasn't it? So I was in the big ring up until, you know, the really severe bit where it, where it goes up like quite steep for like quite a significant amount of time. So that was the only bit I was in the small ring for. And I was in literally my smallest gear. I was like uh, 36, what was that, 36, 28? On that last bit, so that was quite tough there. Uh, 
And that, I would say, I don't know, on a scale of 1 to 10, that climb was probably ridden an 8 or a 7. Um, I didn't have to pull any faces. <laughs> and I was seated for the majority of it so yeah although that's good I mean I don't want the first one being like a a 10 really <laughs> well I'm on 100% training difficulty so that's you know if I wasn't um, on that training difficulty it would be uh, it would be difficult um, to be in the small ring and put out the power I'm using 100% because the uh, the Zwift Racing League uh, for the Premier League teams it's uh, compulsory that you race on 100%. So because I'm doing is it next week? Or I'm doing Climbers Gambit anyway, and so I need I obviously need to get used to it. So that's why. I wonder what's going to happen now. Bert's going to attack. <laughs> Bert's got a lot of cyclocross fitness in a minute, so... No, I don't need to make it harder to you. <laughs> I don't need to make it harder. I'm not a god. I think... Uh, <clears throat> I won't be surprised if the groups come back together a little bit behind this. Uh, they're about to bunch up together, so... It wouldn't surprise me if... When they join forces, they'll likely catch us. <clears throat> Yeah, uh, it's, a, it's a compulsory 100%, it's forced, so yeah. <sighs> That's it, we're going right there. Yeah, that's Bertie in the front group, yeah. <laughs> Old boys growing up. <laughs> I think he's channeling his win at pass effort. Bertie's our young whippersnapper in the Discord channel. Surely they must have seen him. Yeah. Two goals all out for the win. Yeah, I don't think you should bet on me, but yeah. To be fair, I don't think two goals uh, has raced against me much. Or the other way around as well. So, I don't know. Nasty little kicker coming up here. Tick him off, Bertie, tick him off. See how you get on. <laughs> I 
Don't worry, Sam. <laughs> you don't have to watch it like. <laughs> Everyone give uh, Bertie some love, some ride-ons. Fifteen K into the race. <laughs> Back level. So far, look at that. That's with a lot of grey and blue. Got an intensity factor of 0.87. Hummingbird, <laughs> Bertie. Right, so I might be in the same boat as you. I might last the second time, but I never know how I'm gonna do after a day of traveling, like seven hours in the car yesterday. I've lost my touch when it comes to travel and racing. <laughs> I better find it soon though, with the, hopefully with the plans this year. It's good practice, drive seven hours across country and then do as with for it the next day. No, it's a bit complicated, Phil, because um, the whole route is the weekend before, so I'll already be there. Um, so I'm just going to stay the week. So I'm going to fly to the whole route. Charlie's against me using the car. <laughs> but um, yeah, we'll hire a car. Probably. Another nasty little climb here as well. His Roy's group that look uh, 27 seconds back, so it's, it's not a big gap at all.
Oh, big group. <laughs> Usual sort of thing. It generally wouldn't surprise me if two goals goes long. To be honest. I know he loves uh, to play some games. <laughs> From what I've seen and heard. So it wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, that's two goals, Brian. I don't know why he's in his own jersey. I don't know how that... Maybe it's just a bug. Oh, sounds interesting, Bill. Pros keep it. I didn't know that. Ah, that's interesting. Isn't it? Also, it allows you to distinguish them, doesn't it, very easily. Although they've already got a badge, <laughs> but uh, yeah, makes them very easy to mark because now you know exactly who they are or where they are. What's the grey window? It's a Zwift activity monitor. Uh, it's really handy instead of using... Well, it's actually quite good for time trials, actually. You can pace yourself really well. Well, not that you need to see it all the time, but it's quite nice to see the number in there. What sort of effort you're doing here? Yeah? When I say I'm a time first, I'll climb that. Well, I'd probably say I'm a climber who can time trial because although you're all going to say like I weigh nothing but um, people that weigh sort of under 60 kilos in the real world struggle to time trial um, there is like a there is like a window they always used to say that like a rider is sort of between maybe 58 and 65, 67 kilos is usually, a, if he's in proportion as well, is usually like a sort of a rider who can climb on time trial. It's to do with like the way they can get themselves. So I'm pretty aerodynamic, even on a road bike, as you've probably seen from my results in time trials on my road bike. Uh, so it's all to do with like the proportions and stuff, which is quite interesting. I just happen to be quite a good size for, you know, being aerodynamic when it comes to time trialing, as well as being able to push the power as well. Ah, oh, first time here. Cool, Adrian. Cool. Thank you. This course is longer than I remembered. Like the way we wind around and ah, oh, cheers, thank you. Yeah, one surprise with my chase group bridges across now. Soon. Let 
they might come into this with a bit more momentum and shoot uh, shoot across that last gap which is nice because quite a few people in there I know let's start some friendly faces Feeling optimistic, Phil. Ah, <laughs> oh, no, Patrick. Well, I hope you get well soon. Most of us have been there. Just wait it out, buddy. Yeah, I feel okay for the for the duathlon. I think, I mean, there's still you know five weeks to go, and I'm gonna work on the basis of basically doing one one sort of speed or interval session a week, and uh, about two just strides, like casual runs a week. I'm not gonna turn myself inside out because it might blunt my enjoyment. But yeah. Actually, the day after the duathlon, I'm going to Girona for four days. So optimum recovery there. <sighs> Sat on a plane. Well, funny you say that, Phil, but virtually all of my runs have been either before or after the, a training session on the bike because I virtually train every day, don't I? So, so yeah, it's been, it's, been, uh, it's been easier than maybe for me than most people to do that. Um, but yeah, uh, definitely because I know well, I've been there, I've done a duathlon, I know that weird sensation of... Oh, I'm not too worried about the transition speed. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not there to, like, you know, obviously I'll transition as fast as I can. But, like, you know, I'm not at a world championship, so... You know, if I take my time to transition, or if I rush to transition, it doesn't matter. I'm not really, uh, I'm not really bothered, to be honest. Last thing I want to be doing is is rushing because <laughs> I won't enjoy it as much, <laughs> and I'll and I'll get something wrong. Uh, next climb coming soon. Lactic tolerance, Adam. No, I won't be doing a triathlon. <laughs> Groups coming back together.
Give me a prize. A group behind. I'm very close now. They'll be with us in a second. Now it gets very confusing. There's so many people on the course. Pay attention, Bertie. Follow the black jersey. <laughs> That's the easiest thing to do. Because at least you can see where, where he is. He's making a move. I think my cleat has come loose. Nice guys. Yeah, I can see two goals is gone. But uh, this group now behind is pretty large. So I'm just going to conserve a bit. I want to have a good climb, don't I? Yeah, it's going to require a lot of paying attention. <sighs> Two goals is sat up, the looks of it. That's, uh, savvy riding if he has made that calculation because the climb is close although saying that he's strong enough anyway isn't he anyway link in description Bella Skin have got some new products out they support us at Wahoo Look All um, they've got the travel pack version of their chamois cream which you can use uh like you can take with you wherever um, and although I don't often use chamois cream I will be when I'm doing my very very large mileage events this year as a safeguard so yeah just a little plug halfway through the stream <laughs> I would apply some while we're going along this race that would be like gold star content but we've got the climb coming up you know
Two goals is the number one ranked drift racer in the world. Ruben, bad time. <laughs> yeah, let's go, Ben. Come on. Don't push on unless the group does. Save it. Might be a hard second half. Oh my word, my cleat <laughs> is literally going to fall off. Last bit, B. You got it. No need to be there. Good job, eh? Good job. Dad, get my can of coke. 
I'm only there getting me one as well. <laughs> and a screwdriver for my speed play cleat. The bit that's come undone is uh, is the base plate. So basically, my my speed play cleat is floating forward and backwards on my shoe. Um, it's my own fault. I was playing around with it just now. Yeah, I need to tighten, tighten my cleat power. Up. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> nice one, nice one, Bill. <laughs> so, um, I, well, I don't know. I would say that one was actually easier. That rep, it felt easier. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, Stuart. I'm not. I don't know. Something deep inside me still loves my Shimano pedals, but <clears throat> I switched to speed play because. The speed play power pedals were coming out, and then it's been delayed and delayed. So I don't know. I'm kind of. I don't know. Yeah, lots of people use apps to it, even for the road. Yeah, the thing is, uh, this might sound stupid coming from uh, someone of my sort of stature, but uh, I would rather have a lightweight power meter over a heavy one. And uh, if that means I sacrifice like extreme accuracy by having, um, you know, left and right sided, I don't care. Because, uh, because I know that the fact that they're kind of, y you could be delving into the data of accuracy until the cows come on. So I don't really mind if I'm using a left sided only. There's a lot of arguments over this actually. Left sided only because It's lighter than pedals, like a left-sided crank, like a full eye. It's lighter than pedals. But, um... I just don't stress about the accuracy, like, because... I only compare what I'm using to myself, I never compare it to, like, another product. Because, to me, it doesn't matter. Like, if my full eye... If I can do... Say, for example, I was doing a 20-minute time trial, and my full eye says I'm doing 370 watts for 20 minutes, but like pedals say I'm doing like 10 watts more well, I'm not going to stress over like the fact that oh I'm losing 10 watts because I'm using a left sided only because what does it matter to me because even if I had the accurate power pedals double sided what does that change it doesn't change anything for me because it just means the numbers are different. As long as the power meter works and it's like accurate consistently day to day compared to what it's used to producing numbers wise, then it doesn't matter. And you're right actually Hal, yeah. Speed when racing, not power. The trouble is because Zwift or you know, all this riding and racing on Zwift gets you deep into the power side of things. And so you know, when you get on the road, like I say, well, it's not irrelevant. Then I'm not going to get into the argument because I'm in a race. But I 
I'm surprised. Uh... Well, I'm not surprised. <laughs> I caught your attention. <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. You, you can talk about it as much as you like, but it doesn't matter to me. If it matters to you, it matters to you. But it doesn't matter to me. And you can tell me till you're blue in the face. It's the same with a weighing scale. You jump on a weighing scale to weigh yourself. You weigh 60 kilos one day. Yeah, but what does that matter to me, Ben? What does that matter? I would, it would fry my brain if I was to go down that route and like stress over like the deviation and the inconsistency, which I don't even understand because I just ride my bike. I'm not telling you, I'm not telling you to ride with double sided, I'm not telling you to ride with single sided, I'm just telling you to ride your bike and just use a power meter. Jump on a scale, you weigh 60 kilos, jump on another scale, you weigh 60.4, keep using the same scale. Like we just compare, we compare things and we compare. We compare like tangible things, as in like, you know, like a phone to another phone. And we compare ourselves to ourselves, to, to other people. It's like, it just blows my brain. I need to get Anthony in on the conversation. I love this course, Ian. Thank you, by the way. <laughs> I think, although I have to worry about a race, I think I'm more worried about my cleat. By the way, Ben, I'm not ar like. Do you know what I mean? I'm not arguing. I just, I just don't. It doesn't matter. I don't. I don't like. I, I don't. I don't care. No, it's not. I don't care. You know what I mean? Like, you use what you want to use. I don't mind. Like, I don't. I'm easy. I'm easy. But I understand where you're coming from. Yes, two goals is, yes. I actually lost track of time completely. I don't even know where we are. We're coming back to start finish. <clears throat> yeah, but he's still going strong.
If Booty's at the top, I'm gonna position him for the gold trophy. What do you mean that the world's in? Yes, tell me, yeah. I've changed the latency. What's on the menu tonight? I think uh, we're having like capers, some uh, lemony mustardy uh, courgette with asparagus, and uh, some vegan cyclist potatoes, the way he does them. And um, I think a little bit of salmon. Yeah, no, sorry, Phil. Apologies. It did a fair bit, Matt, but it was only because it caught me. So I had like, I had my off season. So I had like two or three weeks off. And then I got it. So I had to take another couple of weeks off. I think so. Uh, basically it extended my amount of time. So yeah, it did set me back a fair bit. Everybody who is in this race, keep pushing to the line. Gets a bit demoralizing when you, you know, uh, you know you got that last climb left, and it's it's only gonna hurt. I didn't bother, Matt. I didn't bother. I don't even when I've got a cold or when I'm ill. If I'm ill, full stop. I won't ride. I just don't bother because. I feel crap and it's stress already and then stress on top of stress is compounded stress so I don't bother granted I think it's easier for me to take the time off though the most because all but to be fair I felt really bad with it I felt really fatigued as if I'd ridden like 200 miles so I didn't really want to ride but um, I know plenty of people who have ridden through it and I can understand you know like obviously I'm virtually a full-time athlete almost so I can almost get away with take uh, taking my time um, and also I can recover quicker maybe because you know I don't have to travel to work and then be in a stressful situation in, in work or something so 
it all sort of helps that recovery, doesn't it? Flying Tommy. Blimey, Lucas, well, oh. it's very easy for me to say, don't worry about it, but like, if you go back and watch, like, some of the videos from last year, the progression from, like, January, this time last year when I had, or was coming back from the illness, fitness came back within, like, a couple of months, and it was like, you know, all those times where I was kind of worrying about... Like, granted, if you're, like, really close to an event, like, obviously, I think stress and everything else is going to be higher, so you're worrying about getting ill, but that's no different with anything, you know. When I've flown to races halfway around the world, I've always been worried about catching something from being on an aeroplane for 15 hours. But, like, as long as you, like, try and keep yourself as healthy as possible, You've got to just like trust your trust your process, trust your your body to keep you fit and healthy. I think this is going to be an absolute horrendous climb to the top, given how how much grey I am now riding in. Granted, it's not the same for everybody, but yeah. Yeah, well put, Ruben, well put. Much better than me. Yeah, well, why, Matt, didn't it? I don't know. I mean, some people did, but I also think in some regards, I'm, I'm a bit of a, not a role model, but you know, if someone gets in a difficult situation like this and they don't know what to do, then at least they can have some sort of comfort in knowing that I, you know, made a decision and that maybe them making a decision doesn't feel so heavy on them when they know someone else has made it. I know lots of people who have ridden through and ridden through it really hard, but like I said, it's the same for anything. If I get a cold, I won't ride. I won't ride. Because... Not that I've ruined myself in the past by doing it. It's just... I don't know. I just don't do it. Okay, five... Five miles, sound okay. clear. How many's in this group? 12, 13. Still a fairly big group, aren't it? Still a fairly big group. Zwift activity monitor, James. Yeah, Epstein Bar, see that's another one, isn't it?
Everybody screenshot what Ruben's saying there. Said that it's your phone wallpaper. It's the same with lots of things, Peter, isn't it? Not just in this sport, you know, driven by data. <coughs> same in lots of areas. No. Okay. <coughs> okay. My cleat does not like that. <coughs> that was a little test to see if it moved, and it does. I'll be done in about 15. Oh, another group. Uh, this finish is going to be difficult. I can't like pull back on the backstroke. I can only push because of the sliding cleat. I might just have to stay seated. <coughs> I would never have thought you'd had three years off, Tommy. <laughs> seated, 150 RPM for sure. <laughs> oh. First ever FTP test. I think I've got about 310. Sounds about right, about 310. Three point eight to go. I would say though that I didn't get a power meter when I started cycling, so I've been riding for a couple of years before I got a power meter. So uh, it was yeah, it was probably a lot lower than that. Power meters weren't as common, funny enough, even ten plus years ago. So it was probably 
you know, below 200. But I don't know, you can't even guess, can you, if you have no idea? I've just plucked that number up the air. <laughs> oh, race across the west. I'm sure you'd be great for it. Long time. 130 days. Two and a half K to go. Good luck, buddy. And everybody else, obviously. Last climb.
Two minute power, four, six, five, seven point six watts per kilo. That's somewhat a little bit more accurate in terms of the length of climb. Five minutes is obviously not the length of the climb. Um, oh my word. Awesome ride that booty. And everybody else who was in the race from the, my supporters in the race, and my supporters in the chat. Oh, I saw one did to like, I felt surprisingly good in the saddle there, but um, I uh, I would have preferred to have been out of the saddle, uh, but um, my slippy slidey cleat was all over the place, so I didn't want to risk uh, tearing my foot off of the pedal or something. Um, oh, there was four of us in there, was that four, four riders? Tommy, nice one. <laughs> Can't you send on my way, Oliver? Oh. Top 10 birdie class. Well done. I know, I know. I think, uh, yeah, I think it's fair to say my only chance there is to go a bit longer than, um, than maybe, you know, maybe most people want, but there we are, it was alright, it was alright. <clears throat> I know. Great plug there, Rob. I would have gone much faster if I was wearing chamois cream. Details in the description. Um, whoa, flip the neck. I think I definitely need to just spin my legs for a couple of minutes. That was a tough race. Um, well, most people, um, I think came third, Bertie, I think. Most people use chamois cream for the, um, for the chafing, so to stop, like, areas from rubbing. Um, more so if you're spending a lot of time in the, out, um, in the saddle. But, personally, I use it from doing many hours because of its um, antibacterial properties. If you're doing back-to-back -back days on the bike, um, I guess it doesn't matter, you know, how well you've washed your kit. It's like, you know, if you're sweating constantly on back-to-back -back days, uh, and even more so indoors, to be fair, um, then you know it's it's always gonna. It helps a little bit. I think the last thing you want is to take days off because of a saddle sore or something. Ah, oh, top, top dog, Paul. Well done, sir. Who else was there? Uh, David, Roy, Bertie, of course, and yourself, Paul. Whew. Yes, agreed there. I um, echo that, Phil. Yes, have a good weekend, everybody. And uh, nice one, Chris. Forty-four. Great job. Cracked the top fifty. My head's gone on the stream. Well, well pointed out there, Marco. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> See if I can find the results. Actually, so you can find results here. I didn't know this, but a lot of people showed me. Uh, here we go. So, if you go to end ride, and then over here it says finished event. Uh, and because this wasn't a race, that's why you can't actually see the uh, the results board. But I'll have a look at the graph anyway. Oh my word! It's a little bit rough, isn't it? Oh, that was a, 
<laughs> that was a saucy one minute effort. Very saucy. Oh wow, look at that. So only um what's that? 14 watts. Only 14 watts off my best. One minute fifty second power indoors. I hate the fact that this uh this graph is always a little bit out of sync. But um there we are, what can you do in it? What can you do? That was pretty close really across the board there. Oh, wonderful. Well, thank you everybody for tuning in. I won't keep you any longer. Good evening, Katie. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. <laughs> oh, top dog, Paul. It's a blooming tough one. Although, to be fair, anything on New York is blooming tough. Blooming tough. Oh. <laughs> Late to the party. Don't you worry, Katie. Just watch the last uh, 2K and you'll be okay. <laughs> right, I'm going to bid you all farewell, everyone. Thank you for... Uh, thank you for um, thank you for your support. Uh, both in the race and um, those who are in the stream. So uh, I'm going to go and keep Charlie company before she heads out again. See her face. Her beautiful face. <laughs> okay, I'll stop now. I'll stop. Thanks everybody. Take it easy. And I'll see you on Sunday. Bye bye.